Welcome everyone. Today I'll be painting a piece called Beautifully Deceased. This piece portrays how corpses are kind of prepared as, you know, the ones that we love have left us and gone over to the other side. Sometimes the corpses are prepared with flowers, um, you know, with other things that were important to the one who recently left us. Sometimes people, they go ahead and they build shrines and adorn them instead. So I kind of wanted to talk about how, you know, after we've left, people still think of us in a beautiful way. While working on this piece, I decided to go ahead and use graphite to draw out all the elements that I wanted to have in the picture. I feel like I might still go back and add more flowers, more fruit, maybe throw some ribbons in there, but I kind of just wanted to dive in and start on this piece. Hopefully the graphite doesn't get muddied up from using gouache on it, but I think it should be fine in the end. On the painted elements, I'm going to be using the Holbein gouache. I actually have an entire range of colors that I have to my disposal, so I'll probably be using all Holbein gouache for that. I usually gravitate more towards the gray tones, which I feel like kind of builds you know, my own aesthetic, kind of my own way of painting. Since I primarily use oil paints, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with gouache. Like I think it's really neat that it dries so quickly, but at the same time, whenever I'm used to oil paints where I can go back and build more layers, which you can do with gouache too, but I mean you have days that you can still move that paint. Whereas gouache, when you put it down, it's almost instantaneous that it dries. Well, definitely admit that I had a little bit of fear going into this piece. I've never really done an entire, you know, full watercolor piece before, you know, using gouache. And so 
and I've never painted a bird, I've never painted flowers before, so I wasn't really sure how this was going to turn out. I think that's just kind of part of it, is just kind of getting over your fear of starting and just kind of diving in. You know, it's taking me quite a while to actually try to work every day doing art. It's, I'm now just jumping back on that wagon and even doing just little things. You know, it really helps, you know, practicing drawing, practicing painting. As long as you're doing something, you are kind of going towards your end goal, which is, you know, to get better at your skill, build an audience. So I feel like even if this piece doesn't turn out exactly how I wanted, you know, I'll definitely learn a lot from it. go ahead and try to make a series out of this and see where that kind of takes me. There's definitely diff different aspects of this that I could go into so I think it'll be interesting to see what really turns out you know from making this piece and hopefully some more pieces in the future. decided if I'm gonna split this up into two different videos you know have one you know this one and then another one it's, you know with all the footage I had and compiling it all together I noticed this is a really big video so I might not do another one but mostly because you know trying to paint and trying to paint well while you have a tripod and you have a camera there is proved to be really really difficult so I'm not really sure if you're going to see maybe the end part of this, but, you know, if anything, you'll definitely see end pictures on Instagram and, you know, other social networks. So we'll see how it goes. to talk too much in this video. I didn't want to talk completely throughout this video just because maybe, you know, there's people out there that are going to be like, okay, I get it. Quiet. I just want to see you paint. I'd like to hear in the comments what you guys think about that. Do you like to watch artists, you know, paint and talk at the same time or would you rather it, you know, them just keep quiet and just keep painting? I'd love to hear it. Let me know down in the comments. Um, you know, tell me what you prefer to see and, you know, I'll definitely try to make that happen. Thank you for watching and go ahead and like and subscribe down at the bottom there and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks guys.